Welcome back to Guns.com, everybody. I'm Ben Brown, and before we get started, I'm just gonna be perfectly honest with you. I kind of geek out over the gun that you're gonna see today. This is the Chris Sphinx. This is the Compact. I love these guns. These are so well built. They've been around for a little bit. You can get these in multiple colors from Chris. Uh, this one is in nine millimeter. For those of you that don't know, the Chris Sphinx is kind of based off the CZ75. It is just really well built. The slide and the lower are machined from billet. The tolerances on here are extremely tight, which typically lends to better accuracy. The slide actually rides inside the frame, so the rails of the slide actually move internally. It does create a smaller slide, but it gives you a really low bore axis, keeps this gun shooting flat. The components internally are all polished, which makes reliability really good. This is double single action for those of you that don't know, and it does have some texture on the hammer, so you can stage it if you want. You can also decock it. It has an ambidextrous decocker on there, no safety. The slide release is a little tough to get to, and that's only on the left-hand side, but if you use your support hand, you can get to it and send that slide home if you need to. This model right here does have a threaded barrel, half by 28, so for those of you that wanna use a can out there, pretty standard thread pitch, does come with this thread protector. Underneath, you have some pick rail, so you can run your lights, lasers, that sort of thing, and the capacity is 17 plus one with these these mags have these high-vis orange fallers, which is a nice touch. Trigger on here, phenomenal. This is a great trigger. Double action, obviously, is going to be heavier than single action, but it's very smooth, very crisp. And then single action, a little bit of take up. You can feel a definite wall, and then bang. It's just an excellent trigger. They did a great job on it. This is a gun that feels really good in the hands. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's got kind of these rubber grips back here that are interchangeable. I like the one I have on here right now. It's the medium. Just feels awesome in your hands. When you're reloading with this gun, super easy. The magwell has a kind of bevel to it, almost like a flared magwell, but it's super low profile. What they did really is just take away all the rough edges so you're not getting snagged on anything when you're reloading the gun. Mags shoot out of the bottom. The mag release can be swapped to the other side if you're a lefty. That's something to note. Sights on top are steel. They are very basic sights. They're blacked out. They do have some dimples in them, so you probably could fill them in with a color of your choosing. These work perfectly fine though. I don't mind black on black sights. The front sight is dovetailed in with a set screw. So maybe if you wanna run a fiber optic, you could swap that front sight out. Totally up to the end user. I kind of like this black on black that comes with the Chris Sphinx. This one right here is in combat gray. There are five other colors to choose from for Cerakote for your Sphinx. I love when companies do that. They give you options, make your gun a little bit more personal, a little bit more unique from everyone else. This gun was so fun to shoot. I don't think I'd want to carry it inside the waistband because it is a little on the heavy side, but it shoots flat. The tolerances are really tight, very accurate. The trigger's phenomenal. You are paying for what you get with this gun. You can find them for around a thousand bucks, but this is a really well-built gun. It is tuned for performance. It just feels great in the hands and it makes you a better shooter. Thanks for watching this video. Leave me a comment down below about these guns. They are originally from Switzerland. That's where the design kind of originates from. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I want to talk with you. My name's Ben. We'll see you on the next video.